All right, sewing machine. You're getting your own table. Well, you're gonna share it with drawing stuff. Oh, it'll be nice to get some of this organized. All right, I've got a pile of wood here. Most of which is just rough cut with a chainsaw. So I'm gonna throw it out this window up to the lumber mill, cut the edges, plane it. All right, which pieces do we want here? I should pick, pick the nicest looking ones. The tabletop, well, that's a good looking piece of wood right there. That, we'll have to see how far this crack goes. Should be a good start. are pretty smooth so I don't want to cut too fast. This piece has a crack at this end so I could you know make two boards however this is a 10 foot long piece of wood three meters a little over and the table only needs to be like six to eight feet it's gonna be a trapezoid so this is gonna get cut off anyway so I can use the whole width. Beautiful. Okay, the lower shelf of the table, the table top, these three, this, I need another one of these to go along. Um, I think legs are going to be like this. Well, these are three inches. Maybe I'll do threes by fours. So these two will be all the all the threes for the legs. I need to cut a couple fours. Do it with these guys. They don't have a job yet. All right, I didn't really plan this out that well. However, I'm pretty sure I have enough boards here to make a pretty nice table. Jab of the hut sawdust version. Ooh, good work. Yeah. Right, I think I've got a plan. 
This is the top. These are some other things. This is some other stuff. And this and this, yeah. about to glue these together and then I realized I don't actually have clamps that are that long. Oh, huh. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Well, I can fit three of them in one of those clamps. Fourth piece, you know, I'll figure out something after. I was actually thinking of hinging it anyway, so maybe I will do that. All right, that looks pretty good. Over there was going this way a little bit, so I clamped that board there. And over here was going that way a little bit, so I pulled it up there. Pretty flat. I think I need more than one shelf in the middle. I think I need at least two. Oh, you know what? This is five feet from the inside here to over there. And these, which are gonna be the shelves in there, are more than 10 feet long. So I can definitely put two whole shelves under there. Oh, I think that's pretty freaking good.
Not bad. actually fits. Nice. Oh, look at that. I just screwed it into that side piece and this piece. Nice work. Leave it open there so the wires can go through there. Seems like it's strong enough. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, I've seen, I've seen people with fancy tables with their sewing machines built right in. And I've always been like, wow, that would be kind of nice to have one of those. And now I do. I think all I have to do left is do some, a bit of planing, a bit of sanding on the top here. Oh, nice work. here and a few little divots and stuff and then there's this little crack over here so I'm gonna wood filler it with whatever this junk is the clumpy way he walks Hey, look at that. I realized with my sewing machine hole, I can fit clamps now. I got a couple screws on the end here to hold it in. Clamps in the middle. And it looks like it's touching the whole way. So, yeah, I was able to put this last piece on. Sweet. All right, sewing machine goes right in there as soon as I take those clamps off. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. Okay, I got all kinds of drawn papers and stuff under here. All kinds of, why do I have sandpaper? I don't need, okay, whatever, let's just leave it. Some pencils and then this toolbox here is full of uh, mark, permanent markers and paint and paintbrushes and all kinds of drawn stuff in there. Then down here, I've got my threads and stuff. Although now I'm thinking, like downstairs I have this huge thing of just bolts of cloth you know rolls of cloth and maybe I'll maybe I'll fit as many of those as I can down under here and then just put my thread somewhere else but, uh, man having a having a sewing machine built into the table oh it's oh it's so good people who don't sew are gonna be like oh what's the big deal but like people who sew oh you totally know you know it's like the difference between like a circular saw and a table saw. Then, today is piss and rain. God, it's been raining so much. Um, so I think today's, today's cleanup day. Oh, I gotta go downstairs and clean up that huge disaster I made 
while building the second floor. The, the second floor is amazing, but holy crap, I made a mess down here. Uh, it's super dark because it's rainy and cloudy. It's already like almost 10 o'clock. I think it might be 10 in the morning. Normally it would be super bright in here, but yeah, it's just dark. I was just trying to put some pencils away and realized I don't have a spot to put them. Oh yeah. While cleaning up, I realized, oh, I gotta put this guy here. And then, I also need places for all my threads. Oh, and stocked my cloth. Most of my cloth fits under here, which is great. Still have a couple big rolls downstairs that definitely won't fit. So I got drawing stuff, sewing stuff, sewing stuff, drawing stuff, and up here, whatever, whatever I'm working on.